Yeah, you rightly said, uh, Sri Ram, that uh, the caste plays a big, big part in Andhra politics. And we all know that. But out of the blue, a man who was the CEO of uh, AP Incorporated, as you rightly said, Chandra Babu Naidu has today become a footnote in history. I mean, you don't see him much of these days. Those are days when just before the 2018 elections, he was going all around the place, uh, the Lok Sabha elections of 2019, and saying that I'm going to lead the coalition, Mamta Banerjee, you had everybody on board, Stalin, Pinarayi Vijayan, Deva Gauda. He got all on them on board. Now we're seeing a similar experiment happening with the BRS. Of course, we'll come to that. But the main question is, you spoke about Pawan Kalyan, but you never actually pushed the case for Chandrababu Naidu. Why is it so? I would like to believe, and there's been a game of thorns uh, on Twitter and otherwise between Telugu Desam and uh, I am one of those people who are actually originally a big Chandrababu Naidu fan. I came to Hyderabad in the same week that the coup was happening in Viceroy. My first assignment as a journalist was to go to Viceroy Hotel and trying what's happening. I had no clue and my senior would say, oh, this is the Home Minister Indra Reddy. He's being stopped from entering a place. You know, all these extraordinary yeah. visuals we saw. Never forget that. So, pretty much, so technically, I've been there from day one to watch Chandra Babu's. It took him a year and a half to settle down. You know, bad power situation. There used to be power cuts. Even hoardings and shops were told in Hyderabad to shut sure. down. No power, pass scarcity. Prohibition had destroyed the uh, uh, kind of coffers of AP were dry and there were two rupee rice scheme and so on and so forth. Chandra Babu Naidu inherited an extraordinary situation. And I'll tell you this, Suresh, later on asked me this, about the three CMs who have gone on to become CMs and started with a negative scenario and two of them have gone on to do extraordinary things. One is Chandra Babu Naidu, one is Narendra Modi. The third is Shinde in Maharashtra. Where will he go? I don't know. But Chandra Babu Naidu began like that. In 18 months or so, he settled down. And I think as a chief minister, roughly between 97 to 2002, those six odd years, I think in independent India's history, one of the greatest visionaries at work. His ability to see this Hyderabad today, his ability to realize that London was very crucial to the British Empire. The capital city is not about a place where you have an assembly or a high court, but it's an economic engine. It is a driver of aspiration. It's a global magnet. And you use that and create that surplus and then you spread it. Problem was with any trickle down effect, you have to make it very effective. You know, there's an insider trading case against some of them in Amravati. I believe an insider trading uh, also happened while Hyderabad was being developed. True. Some people grew enormously rich. There was no sense of equity. Even today, software engineers, according to me, who brought this boom to the city, can't afford land. So it was a great vision. Hyderabad did transform under Babu. His government was ahead of its time. But there were certain lacuna that really brought him down. He stood for 10 years as an opposition leader in irrelevance after YSR, after Telangana agitation picked up, etc. But he got an opportunity because of the bifurcation that left Andhra feeling it has been done badly and Babu was the guy to steer it. I think his term from 2014 to 19 was not good. He misplaced his priorities. And I think the TDP government fully went in all in on Amravati, which was not needed. Had they approached it like Jagan, saying Vijayawada Gunto will be the capital, build a few buildings, get on with it. And we'll build a capital over a period of time, as opposed to go with the financial position they were in, with no long term possibility of growth in economy beyond a point. That bet was a bad bet. You ask me, did Raj Gopal make a mistake in resigning in Monogodo? And I feel no, he did not. But if you ask me, did Babu make a mistake in putting all in on Amravati? And my answer is yes. He made a mistake and it's too big a mistake for AP to give him another chance. And at his age, if he loses in 2024, 
I don't think many people will see hope in Babu bringing his government back to power in 29. If he loses this, it will also mean in 25 years, between 2004 to 2029, he would have been in power only for 5 years and in opposition for 20 years. Four defeats. You guys attack Rahul Gandhi for two defeats. Chandra Babu Naidu has lost more than he has won.